All right. Good Saturday, DeFi Nation. Good Saturday, Energy Community. Uh, this is going to be a great presentation today. Peter's going to tell you about energy. And then I'm going to tell you what. At the end, we have some really exciting news to share with you. You do not want to miss it. This is, a, this is a bombshell that a lot of people have been waiting for. One of the things that a lot of people have been waiting for. Uh, and uh, not Star State. Star State's going to set to be deployed next month. But this is a really big thing that a lot of people have been wait, waiting for. And uh, some really exciting news. I'm going to have Alan on here at the end. And uh, you're going to get to hear that. So we're going to save that till the end, though. But at this time... Guys, my name's Dwayne, for those of you who don't know me. Uh, I'm one of the core team members of Energy. I live in, in Kansas, down in Southeast Kansas, not too far from Oklahoma, not too far from Missouri. And uh, uh, my corporate offices are here. But uh, Peter, who's another core member of our team, he's gonna present Energy today to you all. Peter's up in the New, Jer New Jersey area. He is just a wealth of information in cryptocurrency. He's been in cryptocurrency a long time. Peter's an educator. He loves helping kids. He loves helping people succeed. I can't say enough about him. He's just factual and on point. And uh, he's going he's gonna to hit it. He's going to drive us home. So, Peter, I'm going to turn it over to you. And the floor is yours. All right, guys, how is everybody doing out there today? Um, it is a very exciting time to be here with you all. And, you know, there's a lot of things that have been going on in the crypto space. And, and please, please pardon me if my, <clears throat> if my voice is a little bit off, but I've been on phone calls, Zoom meetings, uh, partnership negotiations with many different um, companies to help our brand to help our um <clears throat> our project build and so therefore my voice is a little bit hoarse so i apologize um if that is the case but if you are new here if this is your first time hearing this presentation about energy about what we do if you could put a number one in the chat so put a number one in the chat if this is the first time that you are ever hearing this presentation, just so I have an idea if there are new people here. Okay, so we got one new person. Anyone else? Two new people. Okay, cool. So we got a few new people here. So let's talk about another couple of things. So we're gonna make this a little bit more of an interactive kind of presentation. If you're new to cryptocurrency within one year, if you've been in cryptocurrency within one year, then I want you to put a number two in the chat. So put a number two in the chat if this is basically new to you in terms of cryptocurrency within one year. Well, we got a lot of number twos. All right. So now let's move to the veterans of the space. If you are in cryptocurrency, more than three years, put a number three in the chat. More than three years, put a number three in the chat. And lastly, if this is your first exposure to cryptocurrency within the last six months, then put a number four, four in the chat. Within six months, put a number four in the chat, okay? So why am I doing this? <clears throat> I'm doing this because I want to see where all of our audience is at. The predominant amount of people that I see here uh, really stem from the two to three range, a few in the number fours, right? So that means that you're relatively new to the world of cryptocurrency. So I myself, if you're, you're not aware, I've been in crypto since 2015. I've been involved with a number of different projects. And <clears throat> about a year and a half ago, uh, Dwayne and I had a phone call about this. And he said, look, we're bringing this brand new project 
It's going to be absolutely incredible. It's probably going to be the best thing that we ever do in our lives in terms of crypto. Would you like to be one of the central people that's a part of it and help really get out the marketing in terms of how this is done? And so I said, well, let me take a look at it. So I started taking a look at it and I started realizing that DeFi, decentralized finance, is such an emerging market, especially at that point in time, a year and a half ago, DeFi was such an emerging market. Now, everywhere you look, it's DeFi, it's NFT, it's DeFi, it's NFT. Everybody talks about APYs. Everybody's looking for the highest APYs they possibly can right? This is kind of what they're looking for. APY is annual percentage per year, okay? Uh, so that gives you a percentage of growth because if you compare, if you compare what the centralized system, what the banking system can give you in terms of an ROI or a return of your investment, it's very minimal, in comparison to what you can get with cryptocurrency. Now, that being said, you also have to be cautious about where you try to find those ROIs in crypto. So maybe a bank would give you anywhere between a half a percent to one and a half to two percent for the whole year. Even if you had $50,000 in the bank, that's basically nothing. But if you took even $1,000, $1,000 of that, and you put that into a smart project that has a long-term potential of success, providing the utility that is necessary for it to succeed, then you have the ability to surpass what you would make in a bank in one month. Think about that statistic for a second. You could make more in crypto in a solid project in one month than you could make in one whole year or maybe even years in a bank. Now, what makes it difficult is, well, how do I get my cryptocurrency to actually be able to sell it into the fiat world? How do I take that crypto and convert it into cash, right? And so there are a number of different ways that you can do that. But of course, the only way you can really do that is going through a specific uh, custodial type of partnership like a Coinbase or something like that, that gives you the capability of doing so. And if you do that, of course, you're going to have to do some kind of reporting that's associated with that when it comes to the IRS, because they have all of those financials that are there. That being said, the gains that you will sustain from the crypto world outweigh the taxes that you will pay. So you have to weigh the good and the bad, essentially, of how that really works. Okay, so I wanted to set the, the precedence of decentralization versus centralization so that you understand why so many people are doing their success and winning in the DeFi space. So what energy is, is we developed a automated market maker staking pool. What is that? What that is, is a smart contract. And a smart contract is essentially a digital contract, whereas Typically, you would have a, a written contract in the fiat world that you would have to physically sign. This is all done digitally, and your signing is essentially done with something called a MetaMask or a trust wallet. And these are digital wallets that allow you to basically take advantage of getting involved in these smart contracts. The benefit to you is that you don't have to pay anyone for any kind of legal service to draft these smart contracts. You don't have to pay anyone 
any kind of service to create the technology that is built around it, you just get the ability, <clears throat> you just get the ability to benefit from it, which is really special. And so in the cryptocurrency world, there are coins that have a, a high maximum supply. And there are coins that have a low maximum supply. What does that mean? What that means is how many coins can actually be put into this smart contract or in general and be produced over time? What's called minted in the world of cryptocurrency. And that capability depends on the project. So if we take the, the normal basis of Bitcoin, Bitcoin's 19 millionth coin was minted a short while ago, about three or four weeks ago, it was minted. And at that point in time, that basically means that there's about 2 million coins in circulation that can never be produced because Bitcoin's maximum supply is 21 million. And so Bitcoin's maximum supply being 21 million means that there's 19 million coins in circulation. That means that all around the world, all of these people that maintain the possession of their Bitcoin in their wallet total that value, which essentially gives Bitcoin its value to date, which is around $38,000. So what allowed Bitcoin to get to that point? Well, quite frankly, it's adoption. And although the adoption rate right now is at around 4% worldwide, that's still a high percentage of people when you're considering 7 billion people in the world, if 4% of them are invested into Bitcoin, that's a big deal. So what allows adoption? What allows adoption is essentially a project that gives people the capability of being in control of their own bank. And so what we did with energy is we created that same type of process. But the way we did it is a little bit different. So we allow people to stake in our energy coins. And what that means is basically you, you buy a certain amount of coins, whatever that is comfortable for you, and that gets put into our digital smart contract. And when it gets put into that digital smart contract, every single week, you are receiving rewards on that particular smart contract passively. You don't have to do anything. You're just receiving those rewards, which will accumulate over time. And at the end of 40 weeks on our Polygon side, you'll be able to unstake all of that, a percentage of that, that's completely up to you or just leave it there. Now, the reason why that's so beneficial is because when we first developed this, we had the Ethereum side, and now we have the Polygon side. Ethereum is the second biggest coin in cryptocurrency. Its value is around $2,900 right now. And the problem with Ethereum is the scaling. What that means is the fees are so high because people are actually using it so much and there's no solution yet. Although Ethereum 2.0, might help to alleviate a lot of that. There's no real solution yet to allow that capacity to happen. So the fees that were put upon our smart contract on the Ethereum side were very high. The problem is that eliminated a lot of countries from getting involved. So even at the point in time when our coin was worth $50, let's say. 
But if somebody wanted to stake on the Ethereum side in that smart contract, because that was the only thing we had at that time, <clears throat> they would have to pay maybe $150, $200, $250 on top of that just for the staking fees. And so that didn't allow those people to actually come into our project. So what we're doing right now is we've developed a second, what's called liquidity pool, which basically means a second digital smart contract that is on what's called Matic, which is a scaling solution, a layer one scaling solution to Ethereum and provides fees that are pretty much pennies. So we went from having fees that were $150 to $200 to having fees of 20 to 30 cents. Big difference, right? So what does that encapsulate? That allows many more people across the world to participate in our ecosystem. Now, as I mentioned before, Bitcoin is 21 million coins as a maximum supply. Energy supply between the Ethereum smart contract and between the Polygon smart contract is a total of 4.3 million coins. That, my friends, is a very low supply. And when we get to the point where adoption is really growing for our project, our value of our tokens are going to dramatically increase. So what gives you the ability to get the biggest benefit right now? What gives you the biggest benefit to get your bang for your buck, right? That is, on the Ethereum side, you can buy the energy token. And you can move it and migrate it over onto the Polygon side and get an 80% bonus. Why did we put in that 80% bonus? Well, the first four weeks, it was 100%. The next four weeks, 90, next four weeks, 80, and so forth and so on. And that will continue until the 40 weeks is up. The reason why we did this is because initially when we did the Ethereum side, we realized that we needed to create a TVL or a total value locked. And in order for us to create this total value locked, we needed to actually provide a capability of having our liquidity pool grow in size while we were actually getting our utilities and our products ready to roll out. And so we said, we're gonna give our people a bonus for doing this. We're gonna allow them to buy on the Ethereum side through Uniswap, which is a, decentralized financial ability for you to purchase any coins that you want that they have on their platform, and then migrate that over to the Polygon side. So let's just call it maybe the energy token right now, <clears throat> I haven't looked the second, but is around $190. Let's just make it $200, okay? Make a round number. $200. You go, you swap your Ethereum or your USDC. So it means you convert it for energy. And then you go into what we call a community builder link. And what you'll do is you'll take that amount of energy that you bought and you'll migrate it over onto the Polygon side and you'll get an 80% bonus. Now you have to stake that for a period of 40 weeks since the inception of the Polygon contract, which I believe right now 
is 31 more weeks. So if you're new and you're getting in now, you have to actually hold that token there for 31 weeks. So you have to have that mindset that for the next 31 weeks, I have to let it sit there and grow. That's it. You can't do anything else. But you're getting a $200 token for about $880. And why is that important? Well, it's important because the reason why we created that second liquidity pool on Polygon is because we had an investor group that came in that wanted to license our technology. And by doing so, they did that and they paired their token with our token thus increasing the price of our token. So as their token becomes successful, so does ours and rises in price. So that's why uh, the discrepancy between the Ethereum side and the Polygon side. Now, when we think about that, we have to understand that what goes into this, into the context of this is really important. And that has to do with when you actually migrate your tokens from one side to the other, you need a total of 25. That's it. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'll explain why it's not. But you need a total of 25 energy token to benefit from what we call DAP rewards or decentralized application rewards that will reward you on every single decentralized app that is built upon the energy protocol system. Why is that important? Well, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you a short presentation that the CEO of our DAP, Starstake, did to walk you through exactly what Starstake is and how game-changing that is going to be going forward. But what I'd really like to do is bring into context of why now is such a great time to take advantage of migration from Ethereum to the Polygon side. You see, right now, you have the capability of buying 14 energy tokens and getting to that 25 mark. And the benefit of that going forward is going to be huge because as energy grows in value, as star stake grows in value, which you will see why is so beneficial, then it is only going to be advantageous to you now as early adopters because you are getting in at a lower price point before mass adoption happens. So imagine the world of Bitcoin and you got into Bitcoin at $200 or $300 or even $1,000. And you said, you know what, I'm going to, I see what these guys have in play. I see how this is game changing. I'm going to take advantage of this capability now. And all those people that did that in the world of Bitcoin they now are benefiting from the fact of this price increase. The difference between what Bitcoin is doing and what we are doing is that, quite frankly, the utility that we offer, Bitcoin will never offer, bar none. And so with Starstake, what we've done is creating a world first to market intellectual property marketplace that has an NFT token stabilizing its development. And so what I'd really like to do with you without stealing Chris's thunder is share with you this presentation so that you guys understand the value of what this brings. And then we'll go into our next segment. Let me make sure that my sound is on.
Hello, everyone. It's Chris Hawk, co-founder and CEO of Star Stake. I thought I would throw together this quick demonstration of the Star Stake platform. Uh, for those of you that are curious, wondering about what is this Star Stake? What is this I've been hearing about? What do you do? What's different? Why is this different than anything else that's out there? Hopefully, this demonstration will quickly give you an overview of what makes Star Stake special, why uh, we do what we do and who it's for. So to begin real quick, Star Stake is an access-based NFT marketplace for creators and brands. Uh, whether you're a YouTube creator, uh, a podcaster, an influencer, an author, an expert or educator, a speaker, um, a musician, an artist, um, or a big brand or a small brand, if you own intellectual property, Star Stake is for you. Why is Star Stake different? Well, Star Stake offers the ability for brands and creators to assign specialized functions to your, uh, to your NFTs. And we use our own technology, a new developed technology called Infinity NFTs, <clears throat> which really allows this specialized function to be assigned to these assets, to this artwork, to these NFTs. And essentially, an Infinity NFT is an NFT that uh, allows for your consumers, your fans to um, stake those NFTs, but also to receive things like rewards, royalties, uh, products, services, all these things. It has the, the ability for you to customize all these functions individually and to transact and, con and basically serve your customers and fans directly. Um, nothing goes through StarStake. StarStake is not um, a centralized company at all. It's just the technology and the platform for you to connect and basically build Build incentivized communities um, with your fans and consumers. So, uh, to begin, Starstake has different areas. Now, there's if, to understand Starstake, you have to understand how it's organized. Starstake has a marketplace. Starstake has kind of a back admin, which we call Stake Hub. And Stake Hub is where, after you purchase an NFT, you can dial in and find out how it's performing because our NFTs are kind of what I would call maybe smart NFTs. Um, they have the ability to do things. And so when they do things, Stake Hub allows you to see those functions, which I'll show you. It's really cool. Um, you also have what's called Creator Hub. And Creator Hub is where creators go to mint these assets, to assign the functions, to be creative and have them do things and, and to interact with their fans and, and really their audience in new ways. Okay. So let's start out at the marketplace. Let's go ahead and head on over there. <clears throat> There's different categories. Right now we have seven categories, music, creators, arts, experts, sports, tech, and products. We will have one um, coming in later this year called Brands. Uh, just offers a little bit different user interface for specific brands, larger brands and such. So I can come down here and see different Infinity NFTs. These are NFTs. Um, this is for all marketplaces, so all genres. And I can view them. You can also see star profiles, which I'll explain what that is here in just a moment. Um, but I can come down here and browse these how I wish. I can do search. It's kind of typical marketplace functionality. However, one thing that Star Stake does very uniquely is it offers the ability for creators to customize their own NFT pages. A big part of, of NFTs and, and especially NFTs that have certain functions is to be able to represent that, your brand, your your music, your art, your whatever those things are that they're going to do. You want to be able to show that off to your audience. And so that's one thing that we do here. We allow creators to customize through our page builder um, these unique pages. So if I click, let's just go down here. Um, let's just choose one of these. So here's a template that we use. This is um, my wife. In fact, I'll let me show you another example. It's more in music. So, <clears throat> so here you go. You can say uh, her song, Let Me Know, a song by Shane Belmonte. Uh, she can customize this whole header section. She can add video content in here. Um, down here, when she mints her NFT, it creates a really unique card that has the, the data about that, the the category, etc. But here you're going to notice it will show her royalties. So if she wants to share uh, fan royalties with her fans, meaning maybe she wants to take 10% of all NFT sales from this NFT in particular and share that with her fans, she can choose to do that and it happens automatically in the smart contract. Uh, she can also say, yes, I want to share with my fans um, the ability to uh, share my uh, Spotify royalties with them or my merchandise sales with my fans, et cetera. So she can choose to turn that in on and off and she can choose the term, uh, how much, all those types of things. Okay. It shows some brief details. She can customize uh, the content here. She also has a built-in referral system. So as her fans come to check out her music, they can click on this link and share this link. Uh, when they share her NFT for this song, 
Um, what happens is if somebody comes here and buys this NFT, uh, that fan would make 7%. She doesn't have to do anything. It happens automatically, which kind of creates this incentivized network. Now, she can also create uh, customized uh, content for this page. So on the left-hand side, you'll see the different areas. She can add pictures and video and text and talk about her NFTs, sell it to her market. But what's really unique is on the right-hand side. If you're familiar with maybe crowdfunding, there's some similarities here. Um, if you've ever seen like on Kickstarter, you can back, uh, I don't know what they call it, but you can basically back a project. And if you spend so much or you invest so much in that Kickstarter project, they give you products and things. This kind of works similar to that, except when that creator say creates that NFT, they can say, okay, when you spend $100 on my NFT, I'm going to give you these things and these come uh, as access tokens. So they're also NFTs. So think of it like this. Um, you can go to the store and buy a generic iPhone, not the top iPhone, but you can buy an iPhone of the basic features. That's what this is. This NFT that you're minting has, you know, royalties and rewards, uh, added to it. Or you can say, hey, when you buy an iPhone Pro, you're going to get a charger, you're going to get headphones, you're going to get a case, you're going to get all these extra things when you spend a gazillion dollars on, on Apple's products. So similar here, they can say, hey, when you spend $500 or more, I'm going to give you access to these perks, which could be backstage passes, t-shirts, merchandise, content, anything you want to assign to these individual NFTs, you can do that. And you can limit them in quantity. You can add rarities to those, all these different things you can set up ahead of time. So when I come down here, I'm like, okay, if I spend $100, I get these NFT access tokens that I can either redeem for products or services or whatever that creator assigns to them. Uh, it could be a limited, limited edition t-shirt like you see here. Now, once I buy this NFT, I get this access token. I can redeem to get that thing, that T-shirt, or I can hold on to that NFT and I can say, you know what, I'm going to hold on to this collector um, piece of art, but also ha that has a T-shirt embedded in it. What that means is I could sell this NFT to somebody else, a super fan who wants to get that T-shirt later on. Maybe it's one of 10 T-shirts available, whatever it is. Um, so you can either redeem that for products and services like I explained, or you can just hold on to that as a collectible and let that accrue in value over time. Okay, so you can choose to do that. Uh, so this is essentially what an NFT page will look like. We have different templates that you can customize, the backgrounds, um, all these different sections. Um, you can link it to your media if it's music or if you're an author to your Amazon store, whatever you would like to do. You can favorite, add it to watch list. You can share it with your friends, uh, earn 7% just by sharing the stuff you like. Um, and you can buy. Now, the interesting thing about Starstake is our whole goal is to allow, um, basically empower creator economies for creators and brands. And what I mean by that is to be able to come to Starstake and use our fully integrated suite of tools to mint your entire economy right here. Your NFTs, their access tokens, your pages, your marketing, your strategies there and also your own currency. The thing about Starstake is we know that the average consumer is not used to dealing with crypto. Crypto is not the most friendly way to make transactions. So we created a technology which we call NFT Bucks. This is our own customized currency that users of the platform can purchase and use to make uh, purchases on the platform. So for example, you could make your own, uh, design your own money, assign its own uh, value, and let your consumers and fans buy that. When they buy that, they can use that, spend it, they can collect it, hold on to it, but it is price stabilized. This technology, we are the first to ever have this. And what this does is when somebody say, wants to buy this uh, $100 NFT bug, it's got my face on it, so it's kind of funny. So let's use an example. Let's add that to cart. So it's up here. This NFT buck, it's worth $50. It would be $100, but for the demo purposes, there's one in my quantity, in my cart. I go to checkout. Now, what I would do is I would use either use crypto or credit card to buy this buck. Let's say I was going to buy this $100 NFT buck. It would spend $100. It would put that $100 into the contract, into the uh, NFT itself to price stabilize. It's always going to be in there. Now, I can hold on to that, and it could be worth much more than it is, or I could spend it. And if I were to spend that $100 on something in the marketplace, it would take that crypto out. It would send it to the appropriate parties that need to get paid, and it would function just like a currency. But now, why would we use that? Because then the end user never has to touch crypto. And 
of course, your fans will want to buy your customized money. If they're your fan, your market, they'll buy your Bieber bucks or your Santa bucks or whoever you are, whatever your brand is. So you can create your own collections right inside of uh, Star Stake. If I come down here, I can see different collections. Uh, for example, we have a Founders collection. So I can say, okay, these are all the different build designs, different rarities. Here's the rare ones. Um, we have ultra rare. Here's the legendary. And we can buy these. And you can set the market price. So um, even though this may say 5,000 NFTB on it, you could charge 10,000 because it's a legendary version. Now, at any point in time, the cool part is, is I can actually go up here. Once I buy these, I can actually reverse it. So I can say, okay. I didn't spend it. I bought that $100 NFT buck, spent 100 bucks on it, didn't end up spending it. But I can come in here and convert bucks, and it'll show up right here if I owned it. And I can convert it right back into 100 US dollar coins again. So I can convert it right back into money for myself. So it is completely reversible. So what this does, it allows creators to create their own economy, their own cash. So when I come into the marketplace and I'm like, okay, I want to buy this NFT. Let's say I want to buy this one. I go ahead and stake now. I can enter in the amount, so let's just do $100, okay? Now in here, I'm going to have the cart. Now the shopping cart's different than what you might be used to. It shows, okay, down here, I'm buying $1 worth of, let's just pretend, an NFT. Now I can't go anywhere, I have to add my bucks to continue. Now think of it like your wallet, you like you having cash in your wallet. Now you can browse through your wallet and say, okay, I wanna spend this one, no. I don't want to, no, that's a collectible. I want to spend Jobsy over here. So I can click on this and it'll add it to my cart. Let's say it added two of them. Now this turns green and says, okay, you're going to buy this NFT for $2, right? I never have to touch crypto. What happens when I hit proceed to checkout, it takes the crypto out of this NFT itself, sends it to the star, sends it to whoever needs, whoever's uh, in the contract, and you get that NFT that you just wanted to purchase. So it's very, very simple to do. Um, and it allows consumers to not only collect um, NFTs, but also collect these NFT bucks by their favorite brands. So once I purchase that, I can go into Stake Hub. Now, what's unique about Star Stake is once you buy an NFT, say it's for a song or for anything, um, you can actually track its performance because these are assigned. Maybe that NFT is going to pay IP royalties, fan royalties, referral royalties, you can actually say, okay, today this NFT, you know, allowed me to earn $100. And so you can actually track its performance in real time in here, all of your NFT portfolio. And it's transferable. So let's say Justin Bieber came out with his next uh, Infinity NFT on Star Stake and you bought that NFT. And let's say he was going to share 5% of uh, his song royalties with his fans. He could do that. Um, and then in doing so, if you're one of the first people that bought it, maybe that thing earned $10,000. You could then transfer that to someone else. You could sell that for fifty thousand, twenty thousand dollars, whatever, with those royalties intact. So anybody that has that NFT in their wallet and it just connects straight to your wallet through MetaMask um, or other um, basically approved wallets, you can see all your different assets: your crypto, your bucks, um, your NFTs. It'll show you how much you have spent and how many you have. Um, and you can transfer those off, meaning you can resell those with the royalties intact built into the smart contract and your access tokens. So let's just say, for example, I come here and these are all my different NFTs that I own. I can check out the individual details of how much it's earned, how much I've actually cashed out, um, and the Stardex value, which is our built-in index because we started Starstake with our own DeFi uh, financial system. Uh, it's something we call Constellation. And what this allows us to do, because we have our own tokens, our own coins, as Starstake grows, that economy grows as well. The value of that economy grows. And when you earn anything through these NFTs, it goes into the contract and that is valued through our star deck. So as, let's just say you earned a royalty today and all of a sudden Beyonce tomorrow drops her NFTs and did millions of dollars in sales. Well, those sales will directly affect the growth and the value of the constellation, which is our DeFi uh, network. And again, your royalties might be worth tomorrow more than they are today. So we have that built-in index. It's pretty cool. You can uh, add that back to the contract, your royalties, or you can cash them out right here and they get converted right into NFT bucks, which you can, again, cash out for US dollar coin. Very, very simple. 
Now, maybe you got some access tokens. So when you bought that NFT, maybe it included a limited edition T-shirt, backstage passes, product, services. This is where you can go to view them, to claim them. We have our own claim system, which is really great. Um, so you can see which ones you're claiming, meaning you're going to get the thing that you, um, you own the NFT for, which is really great. Um, you can view your bucks, all of your portfolio, kind of your gallery. Um, right through there, we have our built-in training center that you can see right here. So if you want to learn how to use Starstake, you can see all of that. And uh, once you go in here, if you're a creator, um, you can go to Creator Hub. And Creator Hub is a by invite only um, uh, portion of Starstake that allows you to mint Infinity NFTs, NFT bucks, the access tokens, and do everything you want to build your entire economy on Starstake. So all your NFTs, their functions, the access tokens, to be able to uh, deliver products to people, uh, to your fans, and then also to be able to mint your own NFT bucks. So when they come to the platform, they'll be able to buy your own money, use your own money to buy your stuff, buy your NFTs, or they can hold on to that like a collectible. Um, really, really awesome stuff. So all this technology is built in. You can show what you've shared with uh, your fans. That shows your earnings, um, your Stardex values. Um, you also get a star profile page. And what that is is kind of a homepage that you can show off to your friends and your fans that have all your NFTs on there. Uh, it's a customizable page. I, I don't have it up here because I don't believe it's on the dev server um, to show. But you can show all your NFT bucks. Um, everything is showcaseable right in there, especially if you're a brand and you want to have one place to show off everything. You can send people directly to there to buy your stuff. Really cool. Um, here you can mint your access tokens. Um, you can see here you can mint and you can actually see all the different uh, NFTs that you're producing. Um, but in Creator Hub, we also have... Uh, a general stats area where you can see all the stats of all your earnings for your NFTs and your NFT bucks, your rankings, where you rank with other stars. So if you want to see where you're at, um, we will be doing some really creative things with that. Um, and then all your different claims. So if you have people that are asking about, uh, you know, how do I get my products? You'll be able to come in here and say, okay, you know, Chris Hawk wants his John Wick 4 movie premiere tickets uh, deliver, or maybe in this case, it was a t-shirt. Um, you get your their name, their address, all this. You can put in that you received it, or you can put in that you fulfilled it. So that person knows that the t-shirt's on its way. So there's a whole redemption system built right into Star Stake. Um, it connects automatically with your wallet, MetaMask, or a few others. Um, we have shopping carts built in. Again, you can see all your resources right inside of uh, your Star Stake hub here. So this is, in a nutshell, this is Star Stake. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on it. To, we've got uh, quite a, a list of creators now, quite a waiting list, in fact. Um, but we are launching something coming soon. We are slated to launch in May. Um, not sure exactly when, but it's uh, pretty exciting. We are getting awfully close now. And we will be having an onboarding um basically a program called the Astra program. The Astra program is where if you're a creator, I mean, even if you're a user, uh, you can register for Astra for free. You'd be able to go in and it'll help you onboard. We created what we call mint maps. And these mint maps allow you to kind of build your strategy of what should I build for an NFT? What should those functions be? What options do I have? Should I pay out things to my fans or share uh, things like royalties and rewards with them. What products and services should I attach to this and how does that work? And so we built these really easy to follow um, tutorials and what we call mint maps, which are downloadable PDFs that you can use to actually build your NFTs on paper before um, beforehand. And we can help you go through that and look at that. So it's a really cool program. The Astro program is going to help you a lot. And uh, one of our NFTs coming out is called NFT All Stars. And that's also going to give you some advanced functionality and priorities. So if you want to be at the front of the list, NFT All Star is going to let you do that if you're a creator um, and you want to start creating your assets for Starstake when we launch. So super excited. Uh, just wanted to give you a very quick demo in under 20 minutes. Uh, there's lots more to see, but generally um, it is an NFT marketplace that allows you to assign specialized functions to your NFTs with complete customization options such as page builders, access tokens, uh, your own currency, your own NFT bucks um, to the reporting. All of that is built in just natively and it's free to use. So Starstake does not cost you anything to mint. Um, we are on Polygon, so the uh, the gas fees are pretty much non-existent. And for consumers, you do not have to pay gas fees at all when purchasing, uh, which is a beautiful thing for your fans and, and for um, you know consumers to get 
their hands on this stuff. And we do have some really cool physical products coming with NFT bucks built with NFC technology. So you can tap that in a, that piece of paper right on your phone. And it'll deposit um, NFT bucks right into your wallet. You don't ever have to be inside of uh, Star State to do it. So lots of cool stuff coming. I hope this helps draw the picture. Um, if you'd like to inquire, please contact me. Get a hold of myself, Chris Hawk, um, or somebody that referred you to this video, and um, we can get you dialed in of what's coming and uh, get you producing the, the things you need before we launch. All right. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Starstick Explorers, we have you on screen. Performing NFT systems check. Stage one access is set. Launch systems intact. Starstick, we are a go. Here's the one you've all been waiting for today. I'm going to show you how to create an entire. All right. So <clears throat> going over what we have really just heard now, you know, you're basically been exposed to, <clears throat> sorry, what Starstick has to offer. And I know it's a lot of information. I know it's a lot to process, especially if you're new into the world of cryptocurrency. But what you have to understand is this is groundbreaking technology that has never been created before. And on top of that, this is basically a multi-million dollar project that you guys as a community, as benefactors into this particular project, you don't have to pay a dime to help its creation become an innovation. And that's really special because a lot of these projects, they have seed rounds. They have many different things that incorporate the ability for them to be a success. Otherwise, they won't have that starting capital for them to succeed. But now you have this ability to really benefit from this. And so I want you guys to really soak in what you have seen over the last 20 minutes and understand the value that it is going to bring all of you. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it back over to Dwayne and we'll go from there. All right, got some really exciting news I'm gonna share with you guys here in a second. But what is the opportunity for you right now? The opportunity for you right now is to get 25 energy staked, okay? 25 energy staked, why 25? Because if you have 25 energy staked, you get to earn on the entire star stake uh, uh, application. You get to earn on that. And that's just one of, one of many applications that will be on the energy DeFi financial system as time goes by. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, okay, well, how much is it to get involved in, in, in these good things? So I want to make this real short and sweet. Energy right now, guys, is... Let's see what it is. Uh, you can see the price of energy. It is right here. The price is $216. So roughly about $220. 14 energy coins plus the 80% bonus will get you 25. Okay. Now, keep in mind, energy is valued over $800 on Polygon right now because of the agreement we have with the investor group or licensing out technology. They're adding liquidity over on the, the Polygon chain. So once you purchase those coins, they, they become valued a lot more. Now they are locked, uh, as Peter said, for about 31, a little over 31 weeks, uh, close to 30, th between 31 and 32 weeks. So at the end of the year, uh, they're locked until around the end of the year. Now, you're probably still going to want to keep them in staking after that. Why? Because in order to get the minting rewards, energy mints for 100 weeks total from the, the first of February, the first part of February, you're going to get minting rewards, additional energy for having them stake, and you're going to earn royalties, DAP royalties for having those 25 coins staked. So if you figure it up, guys, 
it's roughly 220 times times uh, 14 coins. That's about $3,100. So $3,100 would give you your, your 14 coins, the 80% bonus uh, once you migrate will give you uh, over 25 coins on Polygon. And a lot of people say, how much can I earn? What can I earn on the ecosystem? And uh, I wanna play just a quick one and a half minute video that'll give you an idea. It's just kind of a hypothetical video. Um, and, and by the way, before I play that, I do wanna let you also know about Energy Go. Energy Go, you saw those NFT bucks that are being created, right? Those NFT bucks are created with a coin called Mentor. Mentor, Mentor in order to get Mentor, what you have to do is you have to have Energy Go. And however much Energy Go you have in your wallet each month, you'll get a 10% drop of Mentor for the next, uh, I believe it's six months. So Energy Go might be a good coin to pick up some as well. You can get a lot of it. Energy Go is, is very inexpensive. It's about a little less than half of a penny, okay? A little less than half of a penny. And uh, you can earn some of that Mentor that's gonna be used to create NFT bucks. So people say, okay, well, what can I earn on the loyalty? Uh, let me, give me an example. So this will kind of give you a hypothetical example of what you can earn. And then I'm gonna turn it over to Alan for some really, really exciting news to share with you guys. So here we go. How much can you potentially earn from staking? Now, I want to be clear that the following example is purely hypothetical and is not to be construed as a guarantee. Community members who keep at least 25 energy staked can earn royalty payments from all the dApps built upon the energy platform. Keep in mind that not many people are able to stake 25 energy. Not necessarily because of the price, but because of the supply. Energy is extremely limited in supply, which in turn limits the number of accounts that can have 25 energy staked. As of the filming of this video, the very first Blockbuster dApps are under development, and there are only about 150 accounts with 25 or more energy staked. If these first dApps were to disperse an average of $100,000 per day in royalty payments to accounts with at least 25 energy staked, each account would receive over $650 in cash flow per day. This equates to almost a whopping quarter of a million dollars per year for each one. Of course, the number of accounts staking 25 energy is likely to increase over time, but so is the number of profitable dApps. The development of the energy community and decentralized businesses built upon the platform is constantly ongoing. As more and more profitable dApps are created upon the energy platform, the extremely limited supply of energy is squeezed more and more, causing the value to surge. All right, guys. So that'll give you an idea. Now, we don't know what, it's, what, what energy stakers are going to earn. OK, there's no guarantees as to what that that could be. It might be a few thousand dollars a year. Here's it the one might, you've all it been might be for a today. few I'm going hundred to show you how thousand dollars an entire NFT collection. From uh, you know, we don't know exactly what that that may it may be. A, it may be a million plus a year. We, we have no idea. But I do think that with the technology that we have, I think that those royalty payments, uh, those royalty, those DAP rewards that energy stakers with 25 or more um, can earn could be quite substantial, quite substantial. So Alan is having uh, 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 issues, uh, connect connectivity issues. He's having issues with his his uh, DeFi right or his Wi-Fi, not DeFi, but his, his Wi-Fi right now. So I'm going to give you guys the exciting news. Are you ready for it? On top of everything, you guys get to earn by growing the energy community, by growing awareness. There, the, new, the new community builder links, Alan just said, 
will be out within about an hour, within about an hour. What this means is when you invite people that purchase energy and stake energy, migrate over to Polygon, you're going to earn 15% USDC rewards for anybody that you personally invite. And if they invite anybody, you earn 10% USDC rewards. It pays two tiers. That's why we call it community builder. It helps draw awareness to our community. It helps grow the community. So it's a total, guys, it's a total of 25%, 15% on the people that you personally invite that purchase and stake energy, 10% on the people that they personally invite that purchase and stake energy. And this USDC, here's the best part of it all. It's paid directly into your MetaMask wallet, directly into your MetaMask wallet, the instant that they stake. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. It's gonna give us a lot of momentum. Um, it's gonna allow people to basically, look, if, if you introduce one or two people a week that purchase, let's say 14 coins at the current price, about $3,000, 15% is roughly 450 bucks. You introduce a couple of people a week to uh, the, the community, you've made yourself an extra almost thousand dollars for the week. So it's, I think it's really gonna help our community grow. Now, how is that created? How do we pay that? Good question. When money comes in, when that purchase is made and that stake happens, it actually generates 25% more coins on the Polygon side, okay? Now, when somebody unstakes, there is a burn fee. So those coins are actually removed from circulation uh, when they unstake. So it puts the coins, it puts the uh, coins, the builder rewards in the ecosystem. And then whenever they unstake, it takes, it pulls them out, it removes them from circulation. So it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful system. And I can't wait to get that in your guys' hands. As far as existing um, builder rewards for people that have, have been referred kind of in the intermediate time frame, you know, when we transitioned over to Polygon until now, there will be a claim form eventually. That'll be sometime after Star State. But I felt it was really important to get to give this community the builder links so they can immediately start earning uh, USDC for anybody they invite to the community. But uh, we will have those claim forms to, to receive the builder rewards for anybody that's been in, invited in the in the past, you know, a uh, uh, few weeks. So can't wait. Lots of good things coming on. I see Alan just came in. Let me see if I can un, un, uh, make him co-host. Alan, I just gave the news. You just came in. Uh, if you want to say something, feel free, and then we'll turn it over to Peter to close us out. Alan? Are you in a place where you got good Wi-Fi? There we go. There we go. I already gave all the specifics and whatnot. So yeah, awesome. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to uh say hello, give everybody just a quick uh update on some things on uh the development side that we should be aware of and uh, they're look very, very promising. Uh, so first of all, um you know, the, everything is going well with uh, the development. I, you know, we're shooting for a fully functional star stake product by the 15th of May. That's still on target. We'll have to continue to um, work on it uh, afterwards. It's a, any type of a new product is a continual process of improvement, but we're really, really excited. This week was a great week for us, um, but we'll have a fully functional uh, product on the 15th. So everything's on target for that. I wanted to kind of share with you, um, you know, what this really means and the change that it means in our economy. Um, first of all, uh, energy has some huge competitive advantages. Uh, we're, we're the first to develop an NFT platform, Starstake, that's designed to capitalize on economic activity rather than just capitalize on collectibles and art. That is just a complete uh, advancement. Um, we're developing an economic platform rather than just a coin. 
Uh, we are doing some amazing, uh, progressive, huge things in the space. Uh, we, we've been the first to recognize the access economy where uh, communities receive direct royalties, right, and rewards. Um, and it's really important uh, for our community to grow. Um, what's going to make businesses and companies want to pay royalties to coin holders beside on star stake is the size of the community right we want to have a huge community we want it to grow uh, we all need now we have this incentivized system right now in place that everybody's been asking for uh, to make it where you can spend the time uh, to introduce and, and educate people and introduce them to what we're doing and um, allow yourself to make a fair, be fairly compensated right for your time and so I'd encourage all of you to uh, get out there because ultimately what makes meta or Facebook valuable is not just the technology it's it's the community right communities of size uh, businesses will want to access it right they'll want to pay royalties to access it so the NFT access economy okay we'll get away from what we currently have where we have large centralized social media platforms that control access to to a brand's community i mean think about coca-cola for instance right their community is they have to pay facebook to access their own community i think they've been around a lot longer than coca-cola so brands they pay they pay for this access through advertising and individual community members receive nothing for this they all goes to a centralized platform so what we see happening is this changing and we think the star stake platform and technology changes the economics because now brands can have direct pay can have direct access to their community through nfts offer real products and services through the star stake platform um, tokenized products and services and they can pay royalties directly to community members right and community members can now get incentivized through automatic crypto payouts on stake hub on star stake so we're going to show you how this new access economy works um, and how it's going to create huge uh re new revenues for companies we uh, i don't want to discuss you know some of the big brands that we're, we're speaking with right now but we have a huge number of people ready to get started um, we're building the support team we added um some new people i think last week they came on introduced themselves on the support side training side so a lot of this right now is training and support and project management and so that's what we're, we're focused on right now so as you know we started uh this uh platform just a little over a year ago uh, while other uh communities and coins are plummeting ours is growing uh, we believe that we can aggregate uh, cryptocurrency community uh, and build it of significant size uh, through the system we have. We also are the first to have NFT bucks, which is the, um, the uh, stable money that can be branded, has collectible value, easy to understand, and can be purchased with a credit card. We have the community builder, DeFi, which all you are probably familiar with which can incentivize to aggregate communities together. We want to create a massive global financial system. And we're the first to recognize, uh, once again, um, our access economy and where coin communities receive direct royalties and rewards, right? Uh, and we're the first to offer these type of royalty rewards in smart contracts. And the, the beautiful part about it is you're going to get to enjoy all these benefits with uh, no investment in any of the businesses or the applications that are being developed. So I just wanted to kind of, you know, uh, reiterate that message, let everybody know all is very, very well. Uh, we uh, we're, we're extremely optimistic. Um, our aims are being achieved and um, we're looking forward to uh, May 15th, fully functional. We'll do a full functional product demo on about the 15th. I don't know what day that is. Um, that's on Saturday, but the first Saturday after the 15th. 
uh, we can, you know, go through and show everybody how the platform works. Um, like again, once again, the focus should be on building community, right? That's what's going to make. It's just amazing what that does. That's how we're, we've had over 250, um, more than 250 people uh, waiting to get on the Star Stake platform. Some of these names have 30, 40, 50 million YouTube views. Some of them are huge brands, huge communities. I mean, it is working, it's working. And so uh, we're about ready to deliver on um, what we've been working toward now for well over six months. This has not been easy. It's been extremely, extremely difficult to do, but we literally have the iPhone of the uh, NFT space. And more important than just the way it looks, the economic uh, platform that it represents, that's what makes Star Stake and that's what makes energy uh, extremely valuable asset. And all of us hopefully here own it and we'll continue to see it grow. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> Thanks, Alan. So guys, okay. I think you you have your information. If you're a new person to make a decision, but I do believe we're gonna do some big things. And I'm gonna tell you what, what I really like about this whole, whole platform is unlike other platforms where people are jockeying for position, right? This is a chance where we all get a win together. Of course, the people that, that come in earlier, they get to win a little bit more, uh, have the potential to win a little bit more. But I'm gonna turn it over to Peter to close us out with some last minute words. I'll end the recording and then we'll open it up for, for some Q&A. Peter. All right, guys. You know, you've heard a lot today. We've talked about our energy DeFi system and how it all works. We've introduced to you our first of many decentralized apps that are going to be built upon the energy platform and so really the next step is you know if you're not already involved get back to the person that brought you here if you are involved you know we're going to give you that capability now with, with bringing out the uh, the builder links that you'll be able to share with others going forward and it, it's a really it's an exciting time and you know the one thing that i'll i'll close with is this, you know, many people talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum and it going up in value, but many people talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum going down in value. The beauty of our project is that it is not tied to Bitcoin. It is not tied to Ethereum. It is paired with the coin USDC, which is a stable coin. So no matter what, Bitcoin goes up, Bitcoin goes down, Ethereum goes up, Ethereum goes down. The only price volatility that is created within our coin is if our community buys more or sells more. And that's it. So you could have Bitcoin being worth $1,000 and Ethereum being worth $500 and our coin could be worth substantially more than it is right now because it is not tied to those particular factors. So I just wanted to let you guys know that so that you're aware. Thank you so much for coming and we'll see you next time. We'll open it up for a brief Q and A.